All right, so we're back. Let's talk about uh, India, Pakistan, next war, Korea, next war, Korea. How about India, Pakistan? Or how about next war, India, Pakistan? Or how about NWIP? Or how about I have no idea? <coughs> Still struggling with a little bit of a cough. It's just a few moments after I finished up the air war video where I just shared with you my approach to the air war and how we're handling it. Uh, one thing I didn't mention was that uh, there is a, in one of the C3I magazines, I think it's 27, has a, a, a truncated, summarized, netted out version of the air war that you can run for the advanced game. I started to look at that and I looked at, <clears throat> and I thought, well, before I try that, why don't I, why don't I run through with the full game uh, uh, rules first and just see what it's like. And I really didn't think it was that painful at all. And we ran seven or eight air war, air combats, took, eight or 10 minutes just to crank through that, really not a big deal. It's one table, bunch of DRMs and you're in business. So let's look at now the cruise missiles and ballistic slash scud missile situation. As part of the, the uh, first strike phase, I think it's called, you have to uh, allocate cruise missile strikes and uh, uh, ballistic missile strikes. And one of the things that as I mentioned in the other video just a little while ago, uh, it's important that down here on this bottom left-hand side of the screen, you can see this air defense track here. And it's pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting situation. <clears throat> these, these, uh, while these ratings are down at the low end, the four and the three, it can be quite devastating still if you are trying to run an air mission and have to face SAM, uh, SAM defenses. They're, it's quite powerful. This, this track is quite powerful. The table, the uh, advanced uh, detection capabilities means that the, that the air defenses are gonna get a chance to shoot at you. Uh, so SAMs are gonna get a chance to pop at you. So even at level, uh, so level zero, if I got the detection table, uh, track down to zero or one, I still have uh, two chances in 10, arguably, or eight, is it a D8? I think it's a D10, a D10, two chances in 10, so 20% chance, uh, SANS, uh, DRMs, to uh, detect you, uh, detect the enemy, which will then allow me to have a uh, SAM missile attack. I would then, and that doesn't include early warning, right? Early, early warning would, uh, or early detection would allow me to send an interceptor. In this case, the Chinese have really none, so they won't be able to do much. Uh, the, so that would then take us, we would then look at the SAM table, right? So there's the, there's the air defense fire table, and I can look at the SAM rating on that, uh, across the top there, and if I had a rating of 10, or a rating of three, you can see the difference in capability there. So an X is going to probably be a kill, an A will be an abort, and a plus two plus one is going to be uh, an, an impact on your die roll when you actually go to, to do the attack. So you're do dodging and weaving from the SAM missile, so you're less effective. All very, very cool and very nice abstraction of the air defense capabilities without having to, you know, drive around a little friggin', you know, SAM missile launcher or whatever the case might be. So. So as the, as the game player, as the allies, what we want to do, I, I want to do in this particular instance with my cruise missiles is just knock the absolute living daylights out of these tracks. So I put, uh, <clears throat> now there's no cruise missile counters to put on the map. There is just a tracking uh, mechanism over here where you keep track of the points. So I just use these control markers to denote where we're going to be actually be placing attacks. Unfortunately, uh, you know, the U.S. can do two a turn and uh, the Soviets can do one and there's no way to, to remember which is which. So you just got to use your brain uh, because there's different DRMs if you're allied, uh, if you're U.S. versus non-U.S. So we did one here and one here. We ended up with a minus one on this. So this is going to go down to level three. Uh, on the detection table, which is going to mean now that there's only a 30% chance that the uh, the Pakistanis are going to spot me. And I'm not using for all those people about to say, "Hey, wait a minute, why aren't you using the uh, the the extra electronic?" Well, there's some other rules that you can use for uh, spotting and uh, air defenses and stuff. And I'm just not. 
doing that this time because I've got my head full with this game as it is. <clears throat> and so that was that attack, right? So we did that guy. And then the next one, the Sam one, uh, we actually took a th took three hits. One, two, three. Well, that's, gonna, that's gonna drop that down to zero. So if I go look at the, at the zero table, you'll see that goes down to one. So I wonder if we're gonna only ever go down to one. Well, we'll have to check that. That'll be a rule check. You can see the left-hand side, Sam one. Uh, and now I've only got a 20% chance of getting a hit on the aircraft and uh, causing a disruption. So that's how cruise missiles are gonna work. The, the, the Chinese fired a cruise missile at a adjacent unit uh, over here on the far side of the map. We can pop this over here, just right here. They had no effect. And I also fired one or two, uh, oh gee, one or two, uh, Scud missiles that uh, fired uh, the the Indians fired at this HQ and reduced that by a step, which will impact its capabilities for the turn. And then I was thinking about it. It's like you know what? We really probably should go all out, and if we're going to do do this like we said we were going to do, we should attack some of the other HQs. So they're detected because of my detection range. I believe we should also attack some of these supply centers uh, there's hqs all the way over here now actually it is anywhere on the map so i can hit this hq so i'm going to hit that, that hq i'm going to hit that hq i'm going to hit the chinese hq and these are all scud missile attacks and you may be thinking well kevin you're just blowing up the whole map and that is indeed the point this is a shock and awe combat system that's what we're doing dogs and uh, we're going to put this bad boy here so we're going to put uh one two i'm going to take this off because we've already done that three four five six seven and i've done this guy here he got a strike one on that msu i've got to look that up and know what to do there's the chinese there so let's count them off again one two three four five six seven eight so i'm going to knock down my uh roy uh missile points by eight one two three four five six seven eight i'm down to oh went the wrong way we were here, we had 20 and I used one already and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm down to 18. Okay, so we have 18 left. We're gonna now resolve all of these and see what the results are. Uh, I do wanna check on this MSU whether I should attack the MSU or the HQ, I'm not sure, or whether it affects everything in the hex. That's one of the other things that I'm not necessarily specifically sure about, but that's okay. Now, the other thing I could have done is attacked installations or airfields or whatever the case might be, but we chose not to do that. All right, later.